Hi, I'm Sophia Anna, and I like to take pictures. Here's some of my photography. Today I'm going to show you five cheap DIYs to take more artsy pictures. Our first DIY is a backdrop. If you want a more studio feel for your photo shoot, but you don't want to fish out like 50 bucks for a photo shoot backdrop, this hack is for you. At the minimum, this hack costs $5. So what you're gonna wanna do for this hack is get one of those sticky broom holders from the dollar store. Get two of them, get at least one broomstick, get as many as you want for however many backdrops you wanna do, and then get some plastic tablecloths. And then you're gonna wrap the plastic tablecloth around the broomstick. Typically the tablecloth is a little bit longer than the broomstick. You can leave it and just cut it off. I am pretty messy. You probably could roll it up neatly, but I am way too lazy. So mine are messy. But this hack is super easy and super simple. I used to just get the plastic tablecloths and tack them up on my wall. And it was annoying because sometimes I wanted to swap out different backdrops. And so having like my backdrops on a roll, I can easily switch back and forth between different backdrops. Our next backdrop. <laughs> Our next hack is a CD prism. You can get blank CDs at the dollar store. Look at me, please. Do not ruin a good CD. Please don't, please, <laughs> please don't. You're gonna wanna scrape the top and then go in with some scotch tape, which I find scotch tape works the best. You would think duct tape would work better, but for some reason scotch tape works better. And then get all the little chunks off. I don't know what to call them. Because I'm filming with my camera, let's pretend this is my camera. <laughs> and you're gonna hold it at like an angle and you can, Hold it kind of like this. You can put it over the lens, tilt it. You can shoot through so many different ways. You can get lots of cool reflections and rainbows and it makes for really cool pictures. Come in here. Come on, get in. She won't shut up. You got any words to say? The third DIY is something super fun that has been done before, but I put my own little twist on it to make it more easy and practical. So what I did is I took some spare lens covers. On one lens, I did the hack where you put Vaseline on a lens to get kind of like that cool, foggy, kind of atmospheric kind of picture. And then I took another lens that just screws on. And then that way I can just put this in my bag. I don't have to worry about getting Vaseline sticky fingers all over my camera. And it's super simple. The fourth DIY is less of a DIY and more of just some cool tools that you can use. I found this jar at the Dollar Tree that has like all these patterns on it and I find that when you shine a light through it, it makes a really cool pattern and it makes for some really interesting pictures. And I feel like you can find all sorts of different glass with different patterns and you can make so many different things. The last DIY is also just a tool, but it's something really fun and cool that I use all the time. And it makes for some interesting pictures and that is just some string lights. I got these at the Dollar Tree. I find string lights there all the time. This one was in the $1.25 section, but you can also get some from the $5 section. They have some actually pretty nice quality and you can use them for pictures in all sorts of different ways. You can have your model hold it and reach towards the camera or you can just put it in front of your lens for more of like light leaks. Anyways, that's it for this video. I really hope that you find some of these tips helpful. Let me know in the comments if you tried these and if you like them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!